and I will admit I'm I'm the film critic at the post, so I'm biased. Um, this is obviously a year where people went to streaming, they went to binging, people are worried about feature films and the future of theatrical films. Do you see an ecosystem where theatrical is still with us? I mean, are you, I know that you're in the series world, but um, I guess I would love to get your perspective as storytellers coming from that vantage point about the difference between features and streaming and whether or not theatrical features are still relevant moving forward. You Do you have a thought on that, Joan? You can start. <laughs> so well, I'm like I, just trying to gather, I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I, I certainly hope that there's still I don't know if there's still features in the world. I mean, I, I love seeing things on a on a big movie screen. I also think that, you know, home theaters and, and that kind of technology is getting so good that, uh, you know, it, it's the rare feature that that you really feel is necessary to see in a in a bigger environment than your home can provide. Um, but no, I, I, I think there's still a place for that. I mean, it's really it's really about you know, being able to tell different kinds of stories. I mean, as I said, you know, this this kind of hybrid TV feature medium that we're working in, I mean, I, I know a lot of people date the beginning of that from the first season of True Detective, where you were getting these, you know, movie stars to be in, in TV shows, these people who would never sign on for, you know, an ongoing series, but who were who were willing to do, you know, one season of a thing with, you know, that kind of feature level, care paid to every element you know and and those budgets and those you know just just and 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 that kind of you know preparation time and and yeah i mean it, it certainly feels like that's the only way to make the stand but i but there are other stories that no i mean if you if you tried to stretch them out over a, a nine hour limited series would just feel lame and like there's there's just not enough there you know so i i really think it's story specific and i i think it's frankly really exciting to have all these different ways to tell stories. I mean, I love, you know, I love small shows and and I, I even loved, I know it it didn't end up working, but I, I loved the the notion of telling these little bite-sized quibby stories. I, I thought I thought that was really cool to be thinking about, you know, why why do we just take it as as a, I, I don't know, as as fact that well, obviously dramas need to be an hour long and comedies need to be a half hour, and that's just you know that was handed down to Moses on top of Mount Sinai or something. But I, there's no there's no actual reason for that, right? And and so you know, I I think it's really exciting to be playing with all this stuff and 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 just to have more freedom as as storytellers. I I think that's all to the good, and I hope movies come back. I'm with you. I definitely have to agree with everything Ben said. I think with with all of the different avenues of telling these stories, it also brings about a lot of opportunities for actors and for writers and directors to have more, you know, more moments to to get to create. So that's definitely a great thing. But I like to think of it as as an audience member as well, and as a longtime lover of movies. You know, getting getting that love from my father, who's an absolute cinephile, is that what I miss the most about about the theatrical experience that you can get in a home theater but is a bit lacking is that sense of community and being able to experience a story with a group of people you know what i mean i think that also plays into a lot of how we receive the stories that are being told on these screens is because we're sharing it and we're experiencing it with a group and with and it's kind of like for that hour that two hours or whatever it's just like a giant family you know, it, and it doesn't really matter what genre it is, if it's drama, if it's comedy, horror, whatever, you're all experiencing these moments, you know, moment to moment together. And that's, that is something that I think um, is really hard to, to recreate uh, outside of the movie theater and something that I definitely miss. So I hope, yes, that, uh, <laughs> that the feature realm and as it plays on in, uh, in theaters around the world does find a way uh, back into, into our reality, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> 